Good morning. Welcome to this galactic journey with the blonde and the babe. Hey. <laughs> I think you're the blonde and the babe. Okay. No, I think you're the babe. Oh, you're so cute. Hi. I could go blonde. Ooh. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we should do that right now. Though. We should both be blonde. Also, while I'm doing my hair. Let us me. know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to share this on my Facebook page, uh, and Siri will get us started, and then I'll grab a card. Good morning, family and friends. <laughs> Lots of exciting things going on here. Uh, we had a couple small victories this morning with the puppies. Um, they pooped. They pooped. That was a big victory. Small, but big, but big and small. Um, yeah. They have been constipated and in pain. And uh, I'm not going to go into many further details, but let's just say it worked. So that's exciting. And we're here. It's Friday. It's starting to cool down. We're coming into September. What a blessing to be here and be alive. I also have some other really exciting news. <laughs> <laughs> I've been pretty much, uh, since day one of us streaming during this quarantine, wanting to upgrade our operating system. Essentially, right now, many of you know, many of you don't, I'm streaming from my phone to a mic that's connected to it, and we've got some lights set up, and that's pretty much it. It's like a super basic setup. Um, however, I've always wanted to get better mics, so I have some better mics on the way. And I've always wanted to um, st stream to multiple platforms at once. So go YouTube Live, go Facebook Live, and go live on Twitch. And um, now we are going to be able to do that. And what's really cool is I was able to download an app and hack the system. And this app allows me to use my phone as a webcam. So I'm going to go into my computer where the... OBS and Restream system are. I've got a hardline Ethernet cable that's going to hook up. I've got my audio interface that's going to connect to the microphones. So hopefully within the next few quick shifts, we will be upgraded. You might not even tell the difference. Maybe, maybe not. Um, it's still going to be the same camera because <clears throat> every other camera that I looked at is just either really expensive or not as good as the iPhone camera. I mean, clearly the iPhone camera is amazing. And this yeah. is the 11 Pro, so it's got like the best camera out there. And that's actually why we upgraded to these cameras, phones last year. <laughs> so nonetheless, um, that's exciting. We're gonna do some audio testing today just to kind of see how it is. And other than that, yeah, we're gearing up to be in September. We're gearing up to have cooler weather. And it's all kind of exciting. Yeah. You know? I don't know what else to say. I think you've said a lot. All right. Thank you. Yeah. But we love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And again, if you're watching this live, we greatly appreciate you joining us right now. There's eight of you here, maybe even more. And if you're watching this at a future time on our YouTube page or even in our video archives, thanks again for re-watching. Um, if you're on YouTube, you can click subscribe. We would greatly appreciate that. If you're on Facebook, click like. Um, this is a donation-based class. We will share that information at the end, but just in case, our Venmo is at Yoga Galactica, all one word. Our PayPal is yogagalactica at gmail.com. And let's get into this shift. Let's get into this shift. Good morning, Robert, Alicia. Jennifer. What's up, comrade Robert? He's from the men's circle. Sweet. Awesome. Gretchen, Mimi, Mike. Mike. Welcome. We love you. So grateful to have you here. Giving back to yourselves. You guys are badass. I hope you know that. And if you didn't, I just let you know. So, let's go. Yes. Ah, oh, Marie. Marie Pierre. Oh, Marie Pierre. Marie Pierre, good to see you. Hello, hello. So the card that jumped out of the deck today is receive. And we, or I shuffled the unicorn deck. So I'll read that in a minute. 
Let's go ahead and uh, just take a couple deep breaths before we begin, and then I'll read the card. So, oh, sitting up nice and tall in your beautiful space, place your hands down on your knees, take a deep inhale through the nose, nice and slow. Holding for three, two, one, exhale through the nose. Imagine all of that breath coming down into your body, grounding you, centering you, bringing in a peaceful, calm state of mind. Deep inhale. Three, two, one, exhaling through the nose. What are you grateful for right now? Deep inhale. at the top, roll the eyes up and in to that third eye point and let's sip in more breath through the mouth. Now, what is your intention for today's journey? Letting that swell. Whenever you're ready, powerfully exhale the breath. Good. Now, hold the breath out, turn your palms up to the sky. And again, what are you grateful for? Let that gratitude fill you. Let the corners of your lips tilt upward. Deep inhale. Now sigh it out. Shake. Get out. Releasing any energy that feels unwanted in your body. Good. Sweep the arms up and out. Stretch, exhale, hands slowly float down to the center of the chest. And now allow yourself to fully come into your breath. Keep your eyes closed, breathing long and deep. I'm going to read this card that jumped out of the deck today, which is Receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. The key to unlocking your greatest abundance is your ability to receive. The greater your sense of worthiness, the greater your capacity to accept the gifts and blessings the universe wishes to give you. There are many gifts waiting to come to you right now, but any guilt, shame, or unworthiness in your system will act like a force field and repel your prosperity. Yes, it is a good practice to think positively, be grateful, and send out desires to the universe and say affirmations. However, these tools can only be effective if they are supported by the strong sense that you deserve the good you are asking for. This enchantress and her unicorn hold up a crystal sphere containing all of your heart's desires. They are telling you that all of these gifts can come flowing into your reality when you heal inner wounds and release limiting beliefs that block your ability to receive. They invite you to see yourself through the eyes of the divine as a lovable, worthy being, and in doing so, open your floodgates of abundance. There are gifts and blessings beyond your wildest dreams just waiting to surprise and delight you. There is nothing special you need to do in order to be worthy of them except to believe that you are. Ooh, I love that card. You are so worthy. Know that. Believe it. Letting go of any limiting beliefs is such an important thing to do. And also cut out words in your vocabulary that block that flow of abundance that's coming to you. So think about that as you practice today and think about little shifts you can make to open the floodgates so that you can receive all that is coming to you. Let's get shifted. Boom. Boom.
All right, so again, if you're watching this for the first time, if you can, try to amplify the audio through some speakers or wireless headphones, because we are going to be moving and shifting. And now, finding a comfortable spot to sit up nice and tall as we begin our session here. Cross-legged position, eyes are closed, take your hands, rub them together, create some heat, some friction. Now, bring the hands into prayer position. Thumbs touch into the center of the chest, and we continue. Slow, smooth breath. In this first moment, I invite you to call in your intention. Maybe it's an intention for the day, for this practice, for this week, this year, whatever it is. Call it in right now. Then take a big inhale. And as you exhale, let the chin fold down into the chest, turning inward here. First and foremost, extending gratitude down into your body, into your heart, your spine, every cell, every being, filling with love, with light, with gratitude. And then we extend this gratitude and love to our teachers, mentors, guides, all of those that have shifted and shared with us throughout the ages so we may be able to share and shift today. Beautiful. Deep inhale, sit tall. Hold the breath full, squeeze navel, root lock, and exhale, release the hands. Let them come walking forward out onto the mat. Roll over the legs into a tabletop position. We're going to begin our first exercise here, cat-cow for the spine. Inhale, tilt the chin up, arch the lower back. Exhale, round in the opposite direction. Good. Inhale, tilt the chin up, arch the back, lift the heart. Exhale, round in the opposite direction. Tuck the chin, tuck the hips. Good. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Go. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Good. Eyes are closed. Breathing in and out through the nose. It. Find your rhythm, find your flow. Taking it slow here in the beginning, but of course you are encouraged to increase the breath, increase the movement as we build in this exercise. Good, less than a minute. That's it, guys. Keep going. Flowing. Eyes are closed. Inhale up. Exhale round. That's it. 35 seconds. Opposite direction. Good. Well, here we hold the breath out. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Come back to neutral. Hold the breath in. Rotate the hips in three circles to the right. And then three circles to the left. And when you're done, just come back to neutral. Sit down onto the heels. Stretch your arms forward. Lower the forehead down to the earth. And come down into child's pose for three slow, deep breaths. Great job, everybody. Let your body fully relax here. Let any tension, tightness, stress, anxiety in the body just begin to melt away. Good. Now we're going to roll the spine up. We're sitting on our knees here in this position, but if you need to, you can sit and cross-legged. Take your hands, clasp them, and bring them to the back of the neck, the base of the skull. 
Open the elbows wide. Deep inhale here. Exhale, fold forehead down to the earth. Good. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Go. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Keep going. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Eyes are closed. Go with the rhythm of your breath. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Good. Less than a minute. Keep it up. Stay focused. Focus on the breath. Focus on the body. Keep going. Powerful movements. That's it. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now in these last 15 seconds, imagine that you are praising this earth, our home, honoring her for all that she gives. Good. Keep going. 10. of the legs opening up look down at the feet shift your weight forward into the toes then shift your way back into the heels shifting forward shifting back let the whole upper body hang loose let the lower spine begin to decompress good just hang out here shifting left shifting right Take it slow. Feel your feet grounding down. We're going to do a leg energizer for the quads, the glutes, the lower spine, the navel, the core. This is such a good exercise to do on the daily. Good. So feet spread just about hips distance apart. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, push the hips behind you and lower down into a squatting position. Good. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Keep going. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now, as you do this, go ahead. Imagine you're trying to sit on a bench just out of your reach. So you really engage the quads, the glutes, and then push up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down and go. 30 seconds. Inhale. 
Inhale, stretch the left arm up and over the head and reach across past the head towards the opposite wall. Good, and exhale, switch sides. And keep going, we're reaching diagonally towards the opposite wall with the opposite hand. forward come into plank position top of a push-up deep inhale exhale slowly lower down and we're gonna push up so inhale slowly push up exhale lower down five four three two one inhale push up exhale five four three two one come all the way down point the toes behind you belly touch inhale push up to cobra Keep the elbows bent, shoulders down, chin up. Let the whole upper body gently snake left. And right. And left. And right. Come back to center. Slowly lower all the way down. Turn your head to one side. And just rest. here with a little stretch pose it's going to incorporate breath of fire if you're new to breath of fire open the mouth stick out the tongue and begin to pant rhythmically like a dog through the nose or through the mouth feel feel the navel pumping as you breathe now close the mouth transfer the breath to the nose breath of fire. We're going to bring the feet together. Lift the head, shoulders, hands off the ground. Lift the feet off the ground. Six inches. Breath of fire. Go. Not long. 20 more seconds. to neutral just give yourself some positive encouragement right now for you just put forth some really potent energy to help your body feel balanced and that's what we do because we can be in a constant state of stress which many of us are and like we said in class the other day Acute stressors, there are certain stressors that are actually good for the body and we need them. It helps us grow and build and strengthen. But if we're in a chronic state of stress, that's when the body begins to break down and it cannot heal itself. But doing these exercises, doing this breath work, doing the relaxation, ultimately we do a little intentional stress. So all these exercises actually put stress on the body, but it's the good stress, it's the kind of stress that gets us pumped, gets the hormones pumping, gets everything pumping, gets the heart beating. And then this breath also, the Wim Hof breath, is going to do something, something similar. It's an acute stressor, but we're going to release some really good hormones in the body to help bring you back into balance. And then we get to let it all bake in the oven with the sound bath. So stick with it, y'all. So let's do this. Let's get Wim Hofed up. Some of you know this breath. If you are new, welcome. You're about to be completely shift-faced in a matter of moments. So we're going to be doing 40 to 50 powerful breaths in and out through the mouth. The inhale is as deep as you can take it. The exhale is soft. We will count for you. It's rhythmic, and it sounds like this. Go ahead and jump in when you're ready. 
are experiencing something that ooh, is so challenging. So as you take in these last breaths, imagine you are breathing for anyone who is suffering, breathing for your loved ones that may be going through a struggle, breathing for those who are having trouble breathing. so that you can then be in service, so you can be kind, compassionate, empathetic, and the world needs that right now. The world needs you. Relax into that knowing. All we have left to do is to be bathed in sound. So tuck a pillow underneath your knee, if you have something, cover your eyes up and just get so comfy. Beautiful. So together, let's take a really deep inhale and we'll hold this breath for three, two, one. Open the mouth.
you stay present in everyday life. It helps to be deeply rooted within yourself. Otherwise, the mind, which has incredible momentum, will drag you along like a wild river. Eckhart Tolle. Ooh, so true. So feeling your sense, the sense of peace and calm in your body and mind and spirit. Enjoy this feeling. What a gift that you took this time to give back to you. Coming back into your conscious body, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrists and your ankles. Mm. And stretch your arms up and over your head. Yeah. Imagine that in this moment, you are waking from the most deep and restful sleep. You are alive, Woo. ready to receive all the abundance coming to you, all of the gifts. Yeah. Pull your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your knees and give yourself a huge and very well-deserved love and thank yourself for coming to the mat. And if it feels good, tell yourself, I love you, or I'm working on a deep love for you. Begin to rock up and down, up and down on your spine, giving yourself a little massage. Do this multiple times until you are ready to rock yourself up into a comfortable seated position on your mat, sitting with your eyes closed. We are back where we started today's practice for today. So rubbing the palms, the fingers, the knuckles, create some friction and heat. Take a deep inhale. Sigh it out. <sighs> take this first moment to bless our spaces, being so grateful for these beautiful spaces that hold us, that allow us to do these practices and that keep us safe, warm, cool, happy throughout this quarantine and throughout life. So taking a moment to send some love to the space that holds you. Now thinking about someone in your life who may be going through a struggle or a challenge, and this person could be you. Take a moment to breathe in and feel what they may be going through and what you could offer energetically in this moment. So take a deep inhale, breathe it in. Think about what would be so helpful for them and send it out from the depths of your heart. And let's extend that love, that empathy, compassion, healing, community, connection, whatever it is that you're surrounding that person with, let's send it out, expanding it around our community, around our city, around our state, around our nation, and all the way around this earth. Let's send every being on this planet a big dose of compassion, love, empathy, health right now. Deep inhale. Bowing your chin to your chest. Thank yourself for coming to the mat. Thank yourself for everything you do every day to give back to the most important person in your life, which is you. Thank your body for its health and ability to heal. Reflect on your journey. You've been through so much and still you show up even when it's challenging. That's huge. Send yourself some love and appreciation. And then let's take this last moment to give thanks to all those who came before us and all those who have helped us along this path. Friends, family members, loved ones, ancestors, animals, children. Think of those people who have helped you along your journey. Teachers, mentors, guides, guardian angels. Send them some love. Satnam. Satnam. Namaste. Namaste. Aho. Aho. Blessed be. Blessed be. Yay. Woohoo! Thank you 
you all so much. Wow, this is the first day in, like, I don't know how long that I was able to actually rub my hands together without them sticking and winning. Wow. Because it's been so hot, know. you know? <laughs> I know. Oh, yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. We love practicing with you. We're so grateful for, for all of you for joining us today and for so many of you for joining us throughout the last five and a half months. Wow, bravo. So please have a wonderful day. Enjoy this Friday and get out in nature. Ground yourself. Be present with your breath. And yeah, we love you. I'll post the poem. I'll post the reading. Um, I hope you got shift faced, especially you, Robert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal, Jennifer, Robert, Alicia, Frank, Joseph, Heather, Mike, Jennifer, Mimi, Stephanie, gosh, Marie Pierre. Uh, I hope I didn't miss anyone. Gretchen! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. We love you. If you enjoyed this class, these classes are a gift to you. Just remember to always keep your cup filled because we cannot give from an empty cup or an empty place. Siri, you have anything? Thank you so much, Siri, for your beautiful practice and all Thank the love you. that you share and your energy. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Ah, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll most likely see you tomorrow for some short breath work. Maybe we'll see. I love you. Bye. Bella, say bye. Say bye, Bella.